Brady, a disappointing outcome, obviously, after some pretty emotional games that you've played at home over the last little while. What, what do you take away from this one here tonight? Yeah, um, you know, it's coming off you know a tough back-to-back for us there, but um, no excuses. It's, you know, we got a kind of, you know, Small mistakes there that you know end up being the back of the nuts. So um, it's gonna be nice to kind of enjoy this break here, get the mind off the game for a little bit. But um, you know we have, we got a lot of hockey here in February, so uh, we just gotta be ready for that. Um, I think the answer is going to be obvious here. You take advantage of the break, but you're probably going to be able to take advantage of some injured players maybe coming back after the break. How welcome is that going to be? Yeah, no, I think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be great. It's it's. Uh, no, I think this break is going to be good for guys who are you know, banged up too to you know, have a little healing time. And um, yeah, it, it's going to be a lot of hockey here down the stretch. So, um, you know, with you know, all the guys injured, it's you know, a week of you know, rehab and get back. So um, we're excited to have you know, whoever gets back. Uh, um, they're definitely going to you know, help our team continue to get better. Did you get a break in Vegas? Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a sin city for reasons. So I just got to have fun and uh, enjoy it. Brady, what makes this Islanders team so stingy to play against when trying to create offense? Yeah, well, you no, know, top to bottom, they all they all work, and um, you know, great coach who uh, demands a lot out of them. So, um, you know, they've got a lot of great veteran leadership on that team too. That um, you know, have won cups, you know, been deep in playoff rounds. So, um, yeah, they 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 they're, do the right thing every shift, every guy, and and they put buck, pucks behind, and and they just they work. So. Um, you know, it's tough to deal. That's that's kind of our ideal scenario as our group is is be able to do that every single night and, and uh, be able to check teams into the ground and, and uh, be able to kind of outwork teams and, and um, yeah, that's a that's a good team to model ourselves after. You guys are coming off a pretty good uh, four game homestand there. Obviously, you got the five day break now, leading into another four game homestand. How crucial would it be again to get you know some wins under your belt on that homestand as you come out of the break? Yeah, I think it's gonna be huge. It's um, no probably. At this point, four games in like five nights, so whatever uh, the schedule is going to be. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of hockey. We got to really, you know, focus in right from that that first shift after break and um, make sure we're going right away. So, um, but I think it's important that we you know enjoy this break and and uh, kind of get your mind off it and be ready to go. Can I just ask you one thing? During the hockey game, you had a little confrontation with the Big Z. I know you played against him before. Can you share with us what was said? Uh, I think during the TV timeout with with Zidano, and I think Kelly Sutherland was. Uh, yeah, involved. no, it's just. Uh, you took no, a punch in the face. Yeah, I don't know. So, um, he's been a great player in this league for a long time, and um, you know, a guy that you know, a lot of us players look up to, and um, just the way he plays, the way he takes care of himself, and the way he is as a teammate. So, um, you know, it's just more getting the. Uh, kind of what he was thinking on that play but you know what it's uh all good he's got to battle through those types of things but um yeah he's definitely uh when you're standing right next to him he's definitely a lot bigger than you think